What does Tom Brady and Steph Curry both have in common? They're both investing in FTX. Tom Brady even bought a stake in FTX and is now in all of their adverts. Both FTX and FTX US have been in the news a lot lately for all the right reasons. Back in July, the exchange raised nearly $1 billion in Series B funding, and if it continues this rate of growth, it could overtake Coinbase in the US. And who knows, even the undisputed champion Binance. We're gonna take a closer look into FTX and FTT token. So in this video, we'll discuss who's behind the project, who's investing in it, its NFT marketplace, and its relationship with Solana. Welcome back to Being Crypto. My name is Jessica. If you haven't yet already, guys, make sure to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. So FTX's push into the US appears to be working and is being helped by a broad rise in interest surrounding crypto trading. The campaign from FTX to make it a name that even the most casual crypto fan will be familiar with. Now, according to the CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, the average daily volume of FTX actually reached new highs on the first half of 2021. So the FTX CEO also attributes this growth to massive marketing campaigns, along with a surge in the crypto market that we're all kind of familiar with. Now, some estimates say that daily volume grew by more than 150x between June 2020 and June 2021. Trading volume peaked on April 22nd of this year with, get this, $993 million sent in just a 24 hour period. Now, on top of that, according to Crypto Watch, FTX actually has the deepest liquidity of all US cryptocurrency exchanges and has secured a number of sponsorship agreements to grow even more within the country. So having Armada Research, a firm that really deals in quantitative trading and manages over a billion dollars as your digital currency provider is kind of proven to be a good choice. Now, this success hasn't been down to luck or simply just riding the crypto popularity wave. FTX have been building an ecosystem that covers all popular aspects of the crypto world. They have FTX Pay, which allows users to receive payments in both crypto and fiat currencies. They also have their own NFT marketplace, which launched recently, and you can actually see the first test token on it, a brilliant piece of art that sold for $270,000 US dollars. You can actually mint your own NFTs there and it offers cross trend trading between Ethereum and Solana. And this won't be the last time that we cover Solana in this video. And they're adding new stuff as well at a breakneck pace. The marketplace was announced several days ago, but there's another big thing in the last 24 hours. FTX announced it will acquire Ledger X, a US licensed crypto derivatives exchange. Now, this might not sound as exciting as selling crypto punks or kitties for millions, but if the deal does go through, it will really pave the way for the company to expand its offer and also allow its American retail investors to access more derivatives products derivatives products? I hear you ask. What are derivatives? Well, derivatives are tradable contracts that really allow investors to bet on whether a price will increase or decrease without actually owning the underlying asset. Now, these are hugely popular among trading stocks and commodities, and they can do this with leverage provided by the exchange. It's really important to point out here that FTX have chosen a more conservative approach to it, as it is a risky way of trading anything. Now let's talk numbers. Back in July, FTX actually announced it will raise $900 million in a new funding round. This makes it the largest private equity fundraising in the shortest time in crypto history. And it puts the company at a valuation of 18 billion US dollars. FTX was valued at only $1.2 billion 12 months ago. Now it's one of the world's highest valued crypto companies. The new valuation paves the path for mainstream acceptance, particularly in American markets. Now more than 60 investors participated in the funding round. Investors including, and this is where it gets really interesting, Japanese giant SoftBank Group and Coinbase Ventures. The latter has definitely made an impression in the crypto space as it appears Coinbase are indirectly investing in a competitor, something Microsoft did with Apple at one point. Now let's talk about a couple of cryptocurrencies now, both of them strongly linked to FTX. First up is Solana, the coin that, I, that is in the spotlight right now, up from $1.80 on January the 1st, all the way to over 200 US dollars this week. Now, even before the NFT marketplace that we mentioned before, FTX and the Solana team have and still have in common the project. It's a decentralized exchange called Serum and it's built on the Solana blockchain. Now, Sam bankman fried actually selected it because it promised more scalability through proof of history compared to Ethereum's proof of work. 
Serum, which is FTX, unveiled back in 2020, so its trading volumes reached $1 billion in April, so it's definitely making an impression there. Now, we'll wager there will be more overlaps between these two in the coming months and also years to come, as a partnership will be key to scaling at speed. The second coin I'll be covering today is FTX's very own token, FTT. This is the backbone of the FTX ecosystem and is actually already ranked pretty high on CoinMarketCap at number 26. FTT provides its holders an opportunity to earn trading fee discounts and over-the-counter rebates with the FTX exchange. So token holders can also use FTT as collateral for future positions. Meanwhile, institutions that do want to buy a white label version of the FTX OTC portable and future exchange can also do so by using FTT. So the FTX network growth tends to directly correlate with the FTT's price performance. And the relationship was really clearly visible in the recent rally. As the Bitcoin futures open interest at FTX exchange recovered to $2.96 billion on Monday, and its highest for OI was $3.02 billion on April the 13th. So I'm going to turn to you guys now and ask, do you think FTX will surpass Coinbase and possibly even Binance? Are you bullish on Solana and FTT even after their recent exponential moves lately? Let me know in the comments. And guys, if you are looking to get involved, you can buy VeChain and Cake on Stormgain, being crypto's partner cryptocurrency exchange. The link is down in the description box below and you might get a cashback promo on your first deposit. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't yet already, make sure to subscribe to not miss any more content like this.